U.S. Water Rockets presents the Micro Camera Hacking Tutorial Timestamp Removal Part 1. Have you ever wished that you could buy an inexpensive lightweight camera that would fit inside your model rockets for taking in-flight videos? Have you ever wanted to mount a low-cost camera on your helmet so you can record your sporting adventures? Perhaps you have always dreamed of making in-car videos with a camera that can mount virtually anywhere on your vehicle. Maybe you have simply wanted a camera that was small and light enough to be carried aloft with your favorite RC plane to take in-flight videos. Well, now you can do all that and more thanks to a new crop of low-cost video cameras available for under $20 on eBay. These micro cameras are the MD80 clone, the 808 car keys camera, and the gum pack camera. To identify the correct variation of these cameras, you must look inside for a controller chip marked SPCA1527A, which records with a resolution of 720 by 480 and overlays a yellow timestamp in the lower right corner of the screen. The only flaw with these cameras is the timestamp, it cannot be turned off. Until now, the only way to get rid of this timestamp is to use video software and either filter it out, leaving a blurry area behind, or to crop off the bottom of the screen. Neither of these solutions is ideal. In this video series, we are going to show you how to remove the flash memory chip containing the firmware for these cameras and modify it so that the timestamp no longer appears. Okay, let's get started. We will demonstrate with the 808 car keys camera, but the techniques are similar for all three. The first step is to remove the micro SD card so it doesn't get damaged while we work on the camera. Next, we will remove any straps or accessories from the camera body. Next, we will use a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove a number of screws holding the case together. At this point, the case should easily separate, revealing the battery and printed circuit board inside. The battery must now be removed before any work is done on the printed circuit board. The battery is soldered directly to the printed circuit board so we carefully clip the battery leads one at a time without touching any other components to avoid shorting anything out. Set the battery aside with the leads separated to make sure they never touch. We can now remove any screws holding down the printed circuit board to the plastic shell. The number of screws varies, but they should be easy to spot. With the screws removed, the printed circuit board comes out easily and we are ready to remove the flash memory chip containing the camera firmware. The chip in question is a square shaped chip with 8 legs, typically marked F16100. This is a serial flash memory chip. Removing small surface mount chips is easy and only requires a soldering iron, some solder and perhaps some solder wick. The technique we employ to remove the chip is very simple. All you need to do is flood four legs on one side of the chip with excessive solder while heating with a soldering iron. The added solder will act as a heat reservoir so that the solder under all the legs on that side of the chip will become melted simultaneously. This allows us to gently pry the entire side of the chip off the board without pulling up any pads or traces. Gently pry under one end of the chip while heating along the solder you just applied with a back and forth motion. When all the solder is melted, the side of the chip will simply pop free. On the opposite side of the chip we employ the exact same technique. Most components in new electronics are soldered with lead free solder. This is not as easy to work with as leaded solder, so be patient and do not pry with excessive force. The chip will eventually come free if you're patient. We can now set the chip aside in preparation for part two of this video series where we will reprogram the chip with a modified firmware that eliminates the timestamp. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. We look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.